We've learned to use maps in the shaders of a material to generate a pattern. The maps we've used so far, the noise map, the wood map, and the cellular map, have no particular size. However, many bitmap type maps and procedural maps have a pattern that requires us to set a particular size in order for it to look correct. Floor tile is a good example. If they're not sized correctly, they won't look right. In the next few exercises, we'll learn to size patterns correctly so that the pattern appears correct in the rendered scene. There's a couple of steps that we'll have to perform. First, you analyze the map. What is the image or map representing and how does it relate to the size of the pattern? Then, you calculate the size of the area covered by that map. Does that map cover 2 feet by 2 feet, 4 feet by 4 feet, or some other size? Then you need to apply a UVW map modifier to your object. This essentially works as a projector to project this pattern onto the surface of the object. Finally, you enter the size from the step where you calculated the size of the area to be covered. This value gets input into the UVW modifier and is used to size the pattern appropriately. It's a very simple process. Once you do it a couple of times, it just becomes second nature. And it's a very important part of maintaining your productivity.